Uh, Jeff Forgeron here right now, and we were talking about, you know, as we have these first alert weather days, which yep. we now got two uh, in the uh, media horizon here. Yeah. Um, kind of, there's a lot to unpack here, especially as we get closer into Wednesday, because that could really affect a lot of people. It yeah, I like. think the Wednesday morning commute, all of us need to be paying close attention, but I think the more treacherous commutes maybe would be the Wednesday evening commute and maybe even the Thursday morning commute. Thursday should be dry, but it's going to be frozen by Thursday morning. So a lot to go over. Uh, let's start off with, with what's going on right now. And uh, when I take you out to the Portland Timbers cam out here at Providence Park, if you look on the left sa side of the screen, you can see some of the spotty light showers. Uh, spots of drizzle are passing through parts of the metro area. But when you look at the radar, it's really not a very impressive presentation with most of the showers up in western Washington at this time. So today, the weather should not impact our lives a whole lot. Uh, temperatures are starting off on a cool to mild note. I was rocking a pretty light jacket this morning, considering that most of us are in the mid to upper 40s in the metro area. And I think we'll end up in the low 50s this afternoon with just some light showers from time to time. Mid 40s out there along the coast as well. This is a live look from our Discover Newport camera. You can see some of the damp surfaces out there. So that's about all you'll have to contend with today is some light showers moving on shore. Late in the day, though, along the coast, a front is going to start to move in, and that's going to push more rain on shore. So I think late in the day is when things will turn increasingly more wet, with temperatures rising into the upper 40s and low 50s. But if you live in our western valleys, you'll just deal with uh, spotty light showers, cloudy skies, and high temperatures will end up in the upper 40s and low 50s. It is going to be a breezier day across the region. I will make note of that. West end of the gorge can expect a few light showers. East end of the gorge will be mainly dry with highs in the mid 50s. The Mount Hood area will definitely start to notice the wind picking up. So I think some of the ski resorts are already taking note of that. Highs will end up in the 30s at the ski resorts. Snow level climbs to 6,000 feet. So we're going to have bare roads over the passes throughout the day. Central and eastern Oregon, you can expect mostly cloudy skies, highs in the 40s and 50s, and we'll just have some light scattered showers to the northeast and some high elevation snow in the Blue and Wallowa Mountains. Now, Joe mentioned we have two alert days, two first alert weather days in the seven day forecast. Tomorrow, for the Cascades and the Coast Range, we're going to have a lot of snow piling up. On Wednesday, we're expecting snow in the lowest elevations, some light snow in the morning, and maybe some heavier snow in the evening. And we're going to be dropping into the 20s Wednesday night into Thursday morning. So there could be some tricky commutes during the day Wednesday and maybe even into Thursday morning. Highs only climb into the mid to upper 30s Thursday and Friday with overnight lows dropping into the 20s. We're going to have many more updates regarding the forecast coming up. Tony?